Paperwork and tracking. You want to run this like a business or even a side hustle that's going to make good money? Let's get into it. Well, hi everyone, it's Cam, also known as Fuzzy, and welcome to the AIP Content Creator Podcast. All right, today we're going to be focusing on paperwork and tracking. I'm going to show you what I do. That seems like the easiest way that I can find to do, especially if you're a newbie and you don't have a ton of videos up there. This is a great time to do it. When you got three, four, five hundred videos up or reviews, it's a little bit tougher. But if you work at it and do what I do, and eventually you'll just get better at it and and you can have some good tracking on your reviews, okay? Okay, so let me show you this. This is an Excel sheet that I, well, it's not the one I use, but it's kind of what you can set up. And if you don't have Excel or a PC or it's on your phone, you can use Google Docs or whatever, right? So what I do is I put down the date, the asset number, the product description, the country, and you can put all kinds of different things in here when you when you put it up or the review up, when you did this, when you did that. And you can put all kinds of stuff in here that you want to, if you if you want to track it. OK, so now I'm going to show you what I do. And OK, I'm going to use Burt's Bee as an example. OK, so like there's lots of Burt's Bees. Sometimes you'll do a review that just got one. Right. And you're fine. You know that that's the product you did and you're good to go. Say you're on your phone, right? I never upload on my phone. I just video on my phone and I upload it to my computer and uh, then I can do what I want with it. But you're kind of limited to what you can do on your phone. You, you can, and so anyway, you upload it on your phone and you pick a product, you put in Burt's Bees, you find it, you tag it, and you don't know what where, where it is. Like you got to go through all of these to find out which carousel you're on, right? IPX helps out a bit, but we're going to do that in another podcast. But anyway, what I do right now is if I if I'm doing this Burt's Bee right here, all right. So I go in here and I get I get the ASN number, and that's down here. Hopefully, I didn't cut it off. No. Nope. Anyway, yeah, it's cut off a little bit. But anyway, that's ASIN, and that's the number right there. So you want to get that number. You want to copy that. You want to open up your Excel sheet and you want to paste it in here, right? So there's now you got the ASN number of the number of the product that you did, okay? So you can put a product description here if you want, the date, uh, the country, US, Canada, Japan, Australia, whatever country you're in, all right? You write that down, you put your product description in there, and it's done. You know you've done that review on that particular product, right? But if you didn't, now you got to go back here and find out, you know, which which product you know which one did i do did i do that one did i do that now you got to go through all of them and that's what i was doing right and i'm going this is crap i don't want to do this so i figured it out right so what i'm using is the asan number and then to relate to the product right quick like i use this rating number right so I'll write down 12,299 I'll copy this number and I will copy it and put it in my anywhere it's I didn't have it but I'll put it right there right so there we go now I know this will be ratings of course on the top here and I write that down and then I'm good to go so now I can basically you don't really need this but I do it just just to know right and then I t- take that asset number and I can punch it into the to the search bar up in here and boom it comes right up, right? So if I take that ASM number and I take that and I go all the way down here, I'm going to copy that. Take this all the way back up here. Put that in there. And boom, that product comes up, right? There it is. And there it is. You got a sponsored and you got not sponsored, right? There's 12,299. 12,299. There's the product I have right there. Okay. See how easy that is? 
Now, this one come up with a bunch more because there's a bunch of sponsors on here in Burt's Bee. But there's a product right there. Okay, so you see how easy that is? And then you can go in here after you find your product. Then you can go in here and see the product reviews, right? You can see if you're on here. And this is where IPX comes in, right? So this comes up and says influencer videos. It's got six of them on the top. Oh, wait, bottom. Sorry, bottom and You've got uh, total videos of six and no merchant videos, which is good. That means if somebody clicks on one of those videos down there, they're going to get paid. You got the asset number, you got the price, you got a rating, you got the view count, uh, review count, and and then more. You don't need the pro for this. The pro goes into other stuff, but you don't really don't need it. But anyway, okay, so I go down here and then I look at these videos. To see how they're doing right where am i sitting am i sitting back here am i sitting on the second page now i'm going to do this in a different podcast but i want to be on this page right here because by the time these people have watched these three or four videos they made up their mind so i want to be right in here somewhere right on this first page so select like google how many people go past the first page of google not many right so unless You've got a really crappy video. Um, I suggest if you're making good content, you're going to be in here. All right. And Amazon is going to use your video for other Burt's Bee products too, right? Because they're the same and so on and so forth. Okay. That's what I have to say about tracking. All right. So um, that helps a lot for me to track my stuff to find out and then I can go into my reports and find out if I got a zero this and that we're going to get into that in another podcast on on products that if you list it and you don't know what's going on with that product whether it's this that and the other thing I'll get into that in another podcast but you're going to find out you're getting zeros and I'm going to we're going to go through that and figure out why okay all right, that's all I got to say about that today. If you got any questions or, you know, comments or whatever, just leave them in the comments on the YouTube and and the podcast itself on uh, Spotify. But to make sure you, you know, subscribe and and if you like what I'm doing, like it, not- grab your notifications bell and pick that too and all kinds of stuff. I just wanted to mention this. Our future bo- podcasts are going to be coming up and uh, we're going to check how you check your commissions uh reports uh we're going to go into views um why you're not getting views on some of your products which does happen uh we're going to talk about carousels category group we're going to, i'm going to show you about the category group you guys might not know it but we're going to just blurp on that really quick when you got a video that that's out there let's repost it before you delete it the ipx extension we're going to talk about a carousel that happened to me one product tagging multiple tagging think outside the box that's going to be a good one for you guys and then i've got two episodes of that then take a look at the past and this is later on uh, when you guys are finding something to do you got no more products and so on and so forth i'll get into that all right then we get into income streams multiple income streams logi youtube all kinds of stuff coming up so make sure you stay tuned And we're going to get at it. So I'll check you later. All right. Bye-bye.